I want to present you my Windows XP gaming PC. Yes, uh, but for that I have to move up a bit. No, higher, 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 higher. Yep, <laughs> it's all the way up there. Why is it up here? I'm trying to save space and it's not hurting anybody up here. So, wasn't such a bad idea. Um, now this is a Dell Optiplex 755 and I got it for free from somebody who said it wouldn't boot anymore. So he threw it out and he gave it to me. And yes, it wouldn't boot, but I fixed it by just putting out a RAM stick and that was everything. With this RAM stick gone, it booted up just fine, no problem. So the RAM stick was probably dead or had issues. Um, it would make this fun sound, like it would make eh, eh, when when you try to start it. It just wouldn't uh, stop doing that. So I googled that chime and it said it was a RAM problem. So yeah, has one RAM stick less. Not all that bad, uh, but uh, yeah. A Dell Optiplex 755. It has a good platform to build a little gaming PC. Now it had no hard drive when I got it. Pretty smart of the guy to remove the hard drive before I give it away. Very smart. Not a lot of people do that, unfortunately. But this guy did it, and that's a good idea. You should do that too. So it had no hard drive. Um, it had a weird card, like a DVI card. The only purpose of it was to transmit uh, a DVI signal uh, from the internal graphics. So it would basically just waste the PCI Express slot by having the DVI card. I've never seen the DVI card before. So yeah, it has this cool design. When you flip this latch, this door comes towards you. Now there is access to everything in the inside. And this computer reminds me of my school. Um, in school we had these exact same towers. We also had the smaller ones and um, and these two, but uh, a lot of these, especially um, with uh, the same processor, uh, also had some Core 2 Duos, but mostly these, exactly these. That reminds me kind of my school. Um, it has this awesome design by just having this one fan, which is big, and big fans means low RPMs, and that means almost no noise, very silent. And yes, this computer is very silent because of this only one big fan here. I will try to make it a little more visible. Here we go. It's spinning at, I'll leave it, I think 500 RPM and it's cooling the processor just sufficiently with this big heatsink here. It has this wind tunnel and everything goes out. Pretty cool design. Um, doesn't have a case fan though. Um, only has two fans, the power supply fan and the ca uh, this case slash CPU fan. Here are the hard drive trays. <laughs> now I only put in one hard drive and it's even a small form factor one. Uh, came out of our Mac mini 500 gig hard drive. Had to repurpose it somehow and it was fine because it's a slow hard drive, only 54 in RPMs, you know. Has a uh, optical drive with all this cool latch mechanism. I really like this design. Here is the RAM. It's hidden behind these cables. Now it has two gigabytes of DDR2 RAM and some random SATA ports in the middle of the board, which is also weird. So yeah, I can have even more SATAs. It has the factory SATA cables here and it's all very tidy and cool cable managed with these hooks here. Um, very professional looking. I think this is my most cable managed computer I have. Uh, it really is, it's so clean. I can't believe it. Even has a SATA optical drive and a normal ATX power supply. Now this is a Dell power supply, it's a factory one, but you could replace that I think with just a normal regular ATX power supply and it would fit. Didn't think that. Same goes for the board. This board is also just a normal ATX board. It's a Dell board of course and you could just slap in any other board if you want. Um, so this case, which is, I think, nice looking and very versatile, can be repurposed in the future. But I don't think I will remove this board since it has everything I need. It has the PCI Express and some more RAM sticks and uh, even a PCIe, which I repurposed here. Now we'll go through the hardware. It has a Pentium dual core. Um, 
I'm not sure if the clock speed will show you later. This right here, I scored that for 30 bucks. Maybe I overpaid, but it uh, it was the only one available pretty much in my region. And it is a GT730. It, as I said, came with the integrated graphics. And then I put in a GeForce 210, which is a huge pile of shit. And I have it here. And uh, it just doesn't perform good at all. So I need a little better GPU. And since this... Oh, it just fell down. Well, not too much of a problem. <laughs> now this, as I said, I wanted to convert this into my little Windows XP gaming PC. And I needed a little better GPU. So I got this and unfortunately it's passively cooled and I hate that because it's hitting the capacitors back here, which is very ghetto. Now the temperatures are pretty cool though. So that's not the issue, it's just the, the whole form factor is an issue because it's so fat and just, ugh. But it works and it, it was somewhat cheap, so I got the 730. Uh, and I also put in one of my PCIe uh, Wi-Fi cards. Unfortunately in Windows XP they don't work, but then again, um, going on internet with Windows XP isn't a good idea anyways nowadays, so not too much of a problem. It's got quite a lot of dead or unused solder points where stuff could go so you could probably spec this up with a lot of stuff and the internal speaker is also missing apparently uh but yeah i like this system a lot it's very versatile and upgradable and that's why i chose it to uh convert it into a windows xp gaming pc I found myself wanting to play these old games I played in my childhood again. For example, Need for Speed Carbon, uh, Need for Speed Underground 2. I was a big Need for Speed gamer. I didn't really play anything else, but uh, these two I played a lot. And unfortunately, stuff like this, these old games, they don't run great on Windows 10. They have tons of compatibility issues and they crash and everywhere. And, here you have just Windows XP and you install it and it just works because it was made for this OS. So yeah, this is really the only reason why I started this project. And for that, you know, these games are old. They don't need high-end hardware and the dual core Pentium is even like overkill, I think, for these sorts of games. But I think it's it's just perfect. It's just right. It doesn't get stressed and... and it's 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 a good processor for what it is. There there you go. It's a 2.4 gigahertz Conroe Pentium dual core. And memory we got two gigs and graphics here the GT730 with uh, two gigs DDR3. Not too bad. Not too uh, not too slow. Um, so it runs all the games at max settings and the GeForce 210 couldn't even play it at mid settings, for example. Uh, Need for Speed Carbon, and if I play these old games, I at least want to play them at full maxed out detail, and that's not so much to ask for. So, <laughs> I I, de I decided you know I'll just upgrade this, the the GPU, and that did the trick. So, I'll show you the hard drive too. We got here the Apple hard drive, five hundred gigs. Yep, um, and uh, fifty four hundred RPM. And on a modern OS, this is sluggish as hell. Just imagine, this came out of a 2014 Mac Mini we bought, I think, in 2015. And it was so horrendous to use. Horribly slow. But on Windows XP, it is pretty, pretty fine. Um, still, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't break any records with the loading times. But it is very fast compared to a modern OS on it. So, you know, with Windows XP, um, this slow hard drive is is, is fine. Um, but uh, you might say, why did you install a Wi-Fi card if you don't use it on the internet? Well, I have a different OS on here too. Since 500 gigabytes, it's just way too much uh, for this project. <laughs> so, I have it partitioned into, I think, a 150 gig partition for Linux and Windows XP gets the rest. So I have still like plenty space for all the games I want to install. I still got some more, I just had no time really. And uh, it's so fun. I, 
I, I did I made this project happen and I am ready to play I just don't have any time uh, but, but I could if I wanted I could I even test random games um, all at max settings for example carbon and need for speed underground 2 and I made him start without um, without CD that was always annoying back in the days when you had the CD for example you, a friend had it of yours because you wanted to you know bring it to him let him him let him play the game too and you couldn't play it because he had your cd now these patches on the internet are easy to find so you know this is annoying when you have that still so yeah there you go carbon um yeah let's reboot it into linux i tried the very newest ubuntu 1804 lts However, it ran sluggish. With these two gigs of RAM and this old hard drive, it was just not performing well at all. And a modern OS with two gigabytes of RAM is just not even on, on Linux. It's not even a good idea anymore. It's just too too little. So I installed a XFCE desktop and now it runs okay. It still, it still doesn't run fast and it, I expected, honestly, a little better performance. And this, this low RAM is just killing it. Um, for really a nice user experience, you would at least like need 4 gigs of RAM. Or at least 3. Because when you, the moment you open up, for example, Firefox and try to you know browse the web or something, you are maxing out the RAM with these 2 gigs. Um, so you need, you need more RAM and maybe a little faster hard drive. For example, a 721 RPM would be just way quicker and way nicer. So yeah, there you see it booting up. And that's why I have the Wi-Fi card for. Otherwise, I mean, I'm not using this too much on the internet, but otherwise this Wi-Fi card would just lay around in my drawer and now it has a purpose as you see there are the antennas. So, you know, I gave it a new purpose. Installed a different greeter, which um, is faster and less resource intensive than the stock Ubuntu one. And I like XFC. It's a nice, slick, um, low resource environment. It's not any kind of modern or too user friendly. It has this cool dark theme though, um, I discovered. But uh, for these sort of systems, it's perfect. It only uses I think of 1.5 gigabytes like the whole OS which is really good for a modern you know 2018 released operating system you always have to respect that uh, uh, like Windows and Mac they use way way more resources like man look at that it even only needs 491 with, without anything running so um, the stock uh, GNOME environment needs for example, 1.5. So with this, you could even bring it down as little as half a gig. So yeah, the, these guys did a good job on making this fast. However, as I said, it's just the moment you browse something on the internet, uh, it's just not keeping up. Now the processor is fine. Uh, don't expect like 1080p uh, or so. It's 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 kind of on its limit with, with 1080p. Um, but uh, 720p is fine. I will just try to play a video. See what we got. Ha! I know this one. Let's let's try to play that one. Now we're in 480. Let's bump it up to 720. We got here and there some dropped frames. And yeah, it's still pretty good on the RAM usage. I have to give it that. It kind of wants to present the best for this video, but <laughs> it isn't as good usually. I don't know why it's so low, honestly. Last time I used it, it was way higher. Let's do it full screen. Full screen is fine, 
but the moment you put it to 1080p the the processor is just maxed out and it it will not keep up so you know it you will see dropped frames here and there but you know for a free pc any performance is good and especially this performance is just uh pretty good now it's pretty smooth honestly to be like in full screen it's it's not bad it honestly isn't bad so yeah this this cpu like these computers are dirt cheap you can pick it up for 30 and maybe even less less 25 bucks uh and you're getting so nice performance if you would bump up the ram and maybe put an ssd in it you, you would have quite a capable little office system or so so yeah and apart from that it's pretty silent even with the processor maxed out and that is just uh pretty cool so yeah guys this is my little windows xp gaming dell optiplex i like it it is a nice freebie and i hope you like it too sure it's nothing special but uh it's fine see you later